there was some news that dropped right before this stream. Uh, it may have dropped sooner than that. I'm not really technically on social media. I'm like on Twitter, but I don't read my timeline and I don't like go looking for things. Um, usually they're sent to me or I get tagged in them or somebody will like drop it in my server and I'll check it out that way. And that that's typically how I get information now. Um, because it is dramatically affecting my health to read my Twitter timeline, and I'm not going to go into that. But anyway, um, if you have been paying attention to your Twitter timeline, you've probably seen something going around about the SAG-AFTRA um, video game strike. Uh, and this is a pretty this is a pretty major deal for anybody who is a video game fan, a creator, um, who is someone who plays video games. Uh, someone who is a talent in the video game industry, someone who's looking to break into the video game industry, uh, etc. and so on. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because the last time there was a strike of this nature, there was a lot of misinformation. Uh, a lot of people who were bigger creators uh, were saying things that were not exactly true, um, specifically regarding like how to help participate in it. Um, and that's kind of why I wanted to shed some light on this. Uh, first of all, the website is here. I, I tagged it a little bit in the um, start of the stream. You can check out all the information there uh, for yourself while I am talking about it here. Um, so the, uh, the nutshell of this is that um, the video game performers in sag -Aftra, which are like a massive amount of people, are um, striking uh, to um, push AI out of the video game industry. If you're wondering what, what does AI have to do with the video game industry, uh, there's no easy way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it as best I can. You haven't been paying attention. Um, AI is rampant in the video game industry right now. There are games all over the place using AI-generated artwork. There's AI-generated voice work. Uh, there's been attempts to make AI productions of actual voice actors that never gave the approval for those productions to be made. Um, it's running rampant right now. There's no, there's no limits on AI as far as creation goes right now. Uh, in just about any medium. Um, that's both with video games and beyond video games. Um, AI is just completely unregulated. And as AI is unregulated, it continues to create a lot of problems for people who are creators. Writers, for example, are um, people who are commonly hit by AI. Uh, Stephanie Sterling dropped an amazing video um, this past Monday about uh, how their content was taken uh, by AI and uh, how they were a victim in that uh, YouTube subtitle um, AI scraping, which if you don't know about that, that is something that's happening to a lot of creators as well. Um, a lot of creators on YouTube are getting their subtitles scraped so that they can be used as part of uh, generative AI programming. Um, and specifically regulated to video game companies, um, it is very difficult uh, to find something in the video game industry these days that is not in some way touched by or connected to AI. Even if it's just like a very light connection, even if it's just a company that's like talking about it, even if it's just a company that's like low key dabbling in it or like has enabled some type of AI scraping, etc., etc., it seems like this stuff is just spreading. Um, so SAG-AFTRA has uh, gone on strike to, um, to uh, you know, to talk against AI and help push AI out of video gaming. Uh, there's a lot of different areas that this affects. Um, it's a lot of uh, a lot of game companies. They don't even say which game companies are and aren't struck. Um, they're all part of a media agreement with SAG-AFTRA, um, and it applies to every game company that is a part of that media agreement, which I imagine is a lot of different companies. Um, if you specifically know, like, the 
production codes and the code names and stuff like that, you can figure out which companies are affected. But I'm just a creator and I'm a small creator at that. I don't know any of that. So I couldn't I couldn't figure that out if I wanted to. And um, chances are you probably can't either. So uh, what can you do as somebody who's watching this stream, as somebody who supports video games, who supports creators, who play video games? Because, I mean, obviously you wouldn't be here if you didn't. Uh, and somebody who's passionate about protecting the video game industry. What can you do? Uh, that's a good question. And this is part of why I wanted to discuss it on my stream. Um, so, as far as creators and streamers go, if you are a creator or a streamer, um, one thing that you can do is talk about it. You can share what's happening on social media. Uh, you can share the website. You can tell people that uh, this strike is going on. Maybe people don't know about it. If you're a bigger creator, you can email uh, SAG-AFTRA and get somebody on your stream to talk about it. Um, SAG-AFTRA can email you talking points if you want to have some kind of presentation on your stream about it. I'm talking about it impromptu right now as I'm reading it in front of my face because it just happened. Um, and I wanted to get into it early because I know that there's going to be a lot of misinformation and people saying, Oh, you have to stop playing video games, blah, blah, blah. They specifically say on this website, do not stop playing video games. There's probably going to be so many people that get this wrong because they did it last time. Do not do anything differently than you are doing now. They don't want you to stop playing video games. They don't want you to boycott video game companies. They don't want you to be up in arms about supporting video games as an art they want you to continue supporting video games continue supporting the people that make video games and continue supporting the creators and uh producers and everybody who goes into a project that makes a video game um there's some other cool tools as well there's uh, a digital toolkit which has like social media uh stuff that you can put on your like twitter um, there's some, uh, graphics that you can, like, put on your stream. Um, there's some other things. And, uh, if you have questions, there's even a website that you can reach out to to ask those questions. Um, there's some hashtags that you can use, uh, in your messages of solidarity. Um, hashtag level up the contract is one of them. And hashtag video game strike is another. Um, I use both of those in the post that I made earlier. And if you want to make a post about this on your own social media, but don't really know what to say, that's totally fine because they got you on that too. Um, they have some sample posts that you can just paste on your own social media, uh, to show that you support this movement, to show that you support, um, individuals who produce video games and actors and writers and music producers and screenwriter there's there's all sorts of people uh that go into making a video game there's tons of roles that are affected by this strike and um all of them are equally as important and none of them deserve to be scraped by malicious ai that only want to create things that are heartless and soulless and overall just contribute to the worsening entropy that's in the world today um so yeah i can attest that it also generated not only voices but art i accidentally played one that's what i mean that's what i'm talking about dude it's everywhere there's like five games that i've been offered as a creator that all are affected by ai there are games that I'm watching my favorite YouTubers play that I know have AI art in them. Like, this shit is everywhere. It's not going away. It's only getting worse. So the time to stand up and say something about it or do something about it is now. Um, so if you want to show your appreciation, if you want to show um, some type of uh, some type of message, for example, um, anything like that. Uh, there is a petition you can sign. Um, I'm going to link this page, uh, which has all the tools that you can use. The sample social media messages that you can post. Uh, the petition you can sign. The social media toolkit. If you know any, any way that this strike is being broken, you can report that. 
Uh, you can contact the organizer for more information. Um, you... Yeah, there's like, there's so many different ways that you can participate in this. And there's so many different ways that people are going to get this wrong because they're going to virtue signal this and say that there's only one way to participate and people are probably going to tell you to stop playing video games again, blah, blah, blah. Just read the frequently asked questions and that is, that's all that's being asked of you. It's very simple. Um, yeah. So that's, that's what I want to talk about. Um, please support people that make video games. Please support um, people that play video games. Um, art in general is a human creation and not something that can be created by a machine. Uh, because anything created by a machine is, is going to be soulless and likely not have any meaning or it'll have derivative meaning um so yeah this is something that's passionate to me as somebody who aspires to be somebody who writes for like erotic video games um one day in his future uh this is very important to me and i'm sure that it's very important to a lot of other people in this audience as well